What is up everybody, your friendly neighborhood gamer, Zago Cometh, aka the ghost who walks. Back with you again for another well, a first time here on the channel. We have been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links on mobile and today they started a new event, the Yamabakura event. And we're gonna just go over this deck list for anyone who might be looking for a deck that they need to farm level 40 uh bakura i wasn't really gonna do one of these but i came up with this deck today and i was at work and i was dueling him and it seems to work pretty consistently so far haven't lost to level 40 bakura yet so we're just gonna go through this deck list and then i'll play the footage for you and we just go through some of the steps as we go through it all right so you got summoner of illusions uh this card basically you tribute another monster to summon out a fusion so that you can get the fusion bonus for your deal assessment so we're going to be summoning out the blue, ultimate blue eyes white dragon you can't see it on the deck list there on the screen but that's in the, the extra deck section of the list then we got gravekeeper vassal we'll use that along with secret passage to attack the life points directly after we buff the gravekeeper with the attack from the union attack cards that are in the deck we also have iron blacksmith kotetsu We'll use this to search through the deck and pick out our equip card for our cat eared tribe card. Next card is like I said, cat ear tribe. We'll use this to stall out the game basically until the end so that we can get the cards on brink uh dual assessment bonus. We also have shard agree to help speed through the duel a bit quicker and search for the cards that we need and get to the end faster. Also, like I mentioned before, Union Attack. I know a lot of people out there don't have Union Attack, but it's so good. It makes farming decks like so easy. So for this, this guide, I guess, is for those who actually have Union Attack. You need two, so hopefully you have those. Uh, next card we have, we have Storm. We're going to be using this to clear Bakura's backfield so that he can't activate uh, his trap that's in his deck. That might stop you from trying to attack his life points directly or such. So we're going to use that to clear the board. Uh, dimension hole. We're going to use dimension hole to protect our summoner of illusion so that we can get the effect off. Uh, Bakura's AI has this thing where he pretty much always uses noble. Um, what's its name? I can't remember the name of the card. It's a zombie card that basically destroys a monster on the field. I can't remember the name right now. But he always uses that card on a face down minion. So sometimes once he gets out the quartet, the iron blacksmith quartet, so he'll use it on that. Or um, So you got to be careful of that somewhat too. Uh, we got Sogen field spell that will help buff up our cat air tribe so that he the AI won't trade with it because it will automatically lose their minion if they do try to trade with it. And we got our equip mystical moon to also equip to our cat air tribe so that they can't trade with it and help stall out the game. Like I mentioned before, secret pass to the treasures that will enable our gravekeeper vassal to attack past any minions he has done and hit the life points directly. And finally, so we can get the trap card bonus, we have jar of greed. So that'll help along with the shards agree to speed along the duel. For this, you can use this deck on any character that has draw sense earth. We use draw sense earth so that you can easily pull out a cat air tribe to help style the game if you don't get one in your opening hand. Uh, so far, I've been pretty lucky to get uh, either the at the very least only get hit by one minion which then activates the draw sense earth anyway so you can get to pull it out of your deck so with that being said i'm gonna start up our match that we had today and you guys can see how the deck works and i'll try to explain along the way so we started out the match i took 1700 damage from one of his minions and it activated our draw sense earth we got out the cat here tribe a plague shard of greed some on the cat air tribe and equipped it with the mystical moon so i have those on the field now and bakura is starting to load up his board so as you can see here cat air tribe with mystical moon is on the board and the ai won't trade with it because it'll lose because cat air tribe drops its attack down to 200 to match the cat air tribe but the cat air tribe is also buffed by the mystical moon so it's at 500 attack so it'll just lose the minion so here we put out the second cat air tribe well i'm supposed to 
but I guess we don't okay so I opt to pull to place down the iron blacksmith kotetsu here so that I could try to draw out the, the third mystical moon which is another good way to help thin your deck so the dude progresses faster but like I mentioned before he played the card that I was talking about that I was not paying attention to look what the name is while we were talking but he played that card and then got rid of the face down so here we play so again so that buffs our cat air tribe even more then we played out our second cat air trap now the reason why you want to have a second cat air trap on the field is so that in case you need to lower your life points more to get the life points do assessment bonus for your life points being under a thousand or under 500 you can use this second cat air tribe to trade into any of his minions on board to take the damage to lower your life points so that's why we have the second one on the field so in our hand now we're starting to gather the pieces that we need for the end combo together little by little. We have our Gravekeeper Vassal, we have our Summoner of Illusions, we have the Dimension Hole and we have one of our Union Attacks. Also I should mention in the last portion of the match, well you see it anyways, you have to be kind of careful with how it plays out. So here we summon the second Iron Smith, the, the second Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. He trades with it and we get the effect so that takes out the last mystic moon out of the deck so that thins our deck a little bit more so now we pick up our secret pass to the treasures so we pretty much have most of the combo here so now you have to be very careful with your hand management and deciding what cards you may want to discard or what cards you may want to keep you are going to definitely you're going to always have space to discard either a mystic mystic moon or a cat air tribe because you only need two cat air tribes to be on the field the third one you can use as fodder to discard when your hands getting full or also the third mystic moon you can use as fodder to discard for when your hands getting full so right there you saw me throw away the mystic moon and the third cat air tri tribe uh, so we're gonna draw again we get the storm here definitely don't want to discard that because you're going to need that second thing you need to keep in mind also is the fact that if you place any cards face down he's going to nobleman of extermination it so you can't play anything face down in the spell trap zone so you have to just use stuff with good timing so here we play out the summoner of illusions we activate dimension hole so that takes it off the field until our following standby phase which is when we'll activate the flip effect to bring out the fusion summon so we do that there and then we end our turn i would assume or we trade <laughs> yes we trade so this is the portion i was talking about earlier we traded the minion i had to stop and do some math there to figure out how far i wanted my life points to drop so now we're below 1000 so we can get the deal assessment bonus for that so we're at 900 we traded off the minion you also have to trade off the second cat air trap to make space on the board for the gravekeeper vessel so now we draw our final card, our second union attack, dimensional activates and brings back our summoner of illusions. So this is where it gets tricky now. The second mystic moon that we held onto, we need that to be in our spell card trap zone so that when we activate tornado we get to destroy a card on his back zone. For each card in our spell card trap zone that we destroy, we can destroy an equal amount of cards in the AI's back zone. Right now he only has one, so we get rid of that. But if it, if he had a full back zone, it would clear all of them. So now, we flip some on the Summoner of Illusions, sacrifice our remaining Cat Air Tribe, summon out the Blue Eyes Ultimate White Dragon, and then we bring out our Gravekeeper Vassal, Secret Passage to the Treasure, so that makes it attack its life points directly, attack the AI's life points directly. And then we just buff up the Gravekeeper Vassal with Union Attack. So that will push us above 10k damage so we can get the dual assessment bonus for above 9999 damage. So we buff up our Gravekeeper Vassal and then we just go face. Bada bing bada boom. You just beat level 40 Bakura with relatively the simplest of ease. There you go and that's effect damage as well so you get if you if that was the only attack that you did on 
the character you also get the effect damage bonus if memory serves so all in all pretty cool can't complain gets the job done we got combat victory bonus low lp cards on the brink there it is victory by effect damage only played a glossy card four times we got the 999 damage bonus so you can see for yourself and we got a dual assessment of 8200 which i think is pretty decent even without the glossy cards or whatever i'm sure some of you probably have better glossy cards to get more bonuses but that's what i was using to work with so there you go that's my deck uh hope it's of help to you and from there i wish you the best of luck dealing against level 40 but we're in the event and hope you get some rare card drops so this is me signing off until next time telling you as always keep on gaming subscribe to our youtube channel like all our videos do go check us out on Facebook, you can search us under the name Zalgo Comet. Follow us on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Gamehead. And as always, keep on gaming. Visit our game review blog at www.zalgocomet.blogspot.com See you guys later!